Elizabeth Hasselbeck decided to confront Bill Maher on a recent episode of The View. We have uh, two clips to show you guys. Let's watch the first clip where she actually confronts Bill Maher. Uh, it's awesome. Laura Logan, as you recall, was in Egypt and she was brutally attacked by a mob there. She came back and said, their hands raping me over and over again, tearing my body in every direction, trying to tear off chunks of my skull. I was in no doubt in the process of dying. Now, prior to her coming back, Bill, you on your show said, now that Mubarak has released Laura Logan, he must put her intrepid hotness on a plane immediately. In exchange, we will send Elizabeth Hasselbeck. <laughs> now, that's fine if you want to laugh, but I make it my job and profession. I sit with incredible comedians and the best in the business in terms of broadcasting. You can't sit here right now and tell me I'm wrong for saying, mm, that wasn't that funny. Okay, really quick, there was a problem there. Because she made it seem as though he was joking about uh, Laura Logan uh, getting uh, physically assaulted, sexually assaulted when she was in that crowd in Egypt. When he made that joke, he was referring to uh, Logan being released from detention when she was in Egypt. Right. And we did not know what had happened to Laura Logan at that time. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so what she did there was fundamentally dishonest. It's like saying, you know, somebody said Joe Paterno was a good coach before the Sandusky uh, affair happens. And then afterwards you go, ah! Oh, this guy was a Joe Paterno supporter. Meanwhile, Joe Paterno's covering up child rape. But wait a minute, those things are not, were not connected at the time, right. right? So not only is it this awkward, but it's totally unfair. So let's see uh, Mars' response. Well, you know, we do a comedy show uh, for an audience that's perhaps different. Thank you very much. <laughs> for that's perhaps different than your audience. Sure. And, you know, I mean, you are a public figure. It, it was not aimed at you personally, but when you are a public figure, um, you're out there and you're fodder for comedians to make comments on you. you do you draw the line ever? I mean, there's so there's nothing in you that I says, you know, that was a little. That was I do a little draw off. the line, but I also live on the line. You know, I do a different kind of show. I'm on HBO. Mm -hmm. That's my stock and trade. But you do something also different. Said as a comedian, that mm. we we yeah. well, we walk the ledge. You know, it's not easy. Right. It's like you make a joke. Some and you're sometimes not people's right. feelings get hurt, and right. then they tack us back. Would you and say we have it to again? Would it. you I mean, say that again, knowing it. what you know? What you what you have to what you have to know is that somebody has to be out on the edge to know where the edge is. Oh, thanks I'm for being a hero, I guess, I'm, but I'm just saying, would welcome. you say, and you I'm, can I'm answer glad. the question, would you say that again? Uh, would you, you know use what? that same trade of women, say, if you're so if supportive of women. If I had a wall and knew I was coming here and had to like se spend my whole segment talking about it, no, I no, wouldn't. It really wouldn't, okay. it really wouldn't be worth Listen, it. But, I went through years but you know, of, worse things have happened of, to people. Yeah, I went through years of Bawa Wawa. I survived. <laughs> and, right. but, you know, my feelings weren't hurt. I'm speaking okay. on behalf of women. We don't trade well, women in this country. It shouldn't be a global issue. And quite frankly, uh, I know it's uh, funny. Uh, I work with funnies. That wasn't it's funny, okay, but we've it's, done I'm not taking it personally, okay? I'm just speaking out for all the women out there who were offended, namely me. Yeah, <laughs> I, but honestly, I'm not buying either side. I mean, Bill Maher said it wasn't personal about you. It was, but wait a minute, she was the butt of the joke. I agree with everything else he says. Mm -hmm. he's, he's like, look, you're a public figure. Sad day for you, right? Especially at the time when we had no idea what happened to Laura Logan, okay? Uh, so, but it was about her, right? right. And then she says, oh, I didn't take it personally. I'm just bringing this up like seven times over in this incredibly awkward interview. Well, I didn't take it personally. I'm just defending all women. Oh, thank you for being the hero to that, Elizabeth. Yeah. We really appreciate it. But the main thing I got out of it was how terribly out of context Hasselbeck quoted him, which I thought was a real hatchet job. What I don't understand is why he didn't do a better job of defending himself, because he didn't really clarify, you know, um, how she had uh, set him up in in that way. It, yeah. So th that was a little bit You know, it's interesting. I think that uh, on the, under pressure of a really short period of time, it's mm -hmm. not that, oh, wow, he's on TV. He's been on TV a million times. So, like, there's f five people talking there, and you have to quickly make your points. Sometimes you lose track of the most important point. Yeah, I wish he'd, he'd have said that, too. Right. And but, keep in mind, he was there to talk about his new book. So imagine how irritated he must have been. He, I know, but that yeah. I'm not buying either. Yeah. Okay, I mean, yeah, you came to talk about your book. She had a different question. Sad day. No, 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 that's fine, but they spent way too much time on that. And, and look, the segment is short, Jank. Look, if I was going on a show to promote my book and they wanted to talk about my, I don't know, something that I had said on the show that's completely irrelevant, then I would be irritated. I hear you. I mean, I just think that's... Media 101. That's right. life and, and, in the big city. And if you have a personal issue with him, take it up with him after the show. Like, no. Yeah. You know, what's the point of doing it after the show? You do it on the show. That's more fun. I guess. It's more entertaining <laughs> for us. But yeah. I'm just saying, like, 
No, I no, personally, no. as Bill Maher, if I were Bill Maher, I'd be like, let's talk about my book. Let's wrap it up. Yeah, no, I, I'm not buying that part either. I think she's right to ask the question. I think it was the wrong question or mm -hmm. framed the wrong way.